Houston's first city hall was built here. The building also housed a farmer's market. It was twice destroyed by fire, and each time they rebuilt it bigger than before. When the present city hall was built several blocks away in the 1930s, the old city hall market became a bus station until it too caught fire, was abandoned, and became an eyesore. The city tore it down in 1956. In 1961, the fate of the old block was put to a vote of the people. The mayor at the time wanted to sell this property to developers. He said a park would just be a tombstone to the dead and forgotten, a gathering place for soapbox orators and crackpots. But the people decided to make it a park. That was back when there were a lot more buildings around the square to look at. Now it's mostly parking lots. One by one, the buildings that surrounded Market Square have disappeared. An old dry goods store have been consumed by fire. This was the Kennedy Hotel, built in 1860. Half of the building that had stood here since the Civil War came crashing down in less than a day. But the sounds around Market Square today aren't from the demolition crew. It is the sound of redevelopment very uncertain future. Like his neighbors, Benner wants to convert the building into housing. The only way to save this one was to buy it, because if I didn't buy it, then the, uh, the last of the uh, preservationist efforts would have would were exhausted and it would have hit the wrecking ball. By now, it would already be a slab. But time is running out for Benner. He must shore up the decaying walls and make it safe by September 15th, or the city wrecking ball will turn the place into another pile of bricks. I just like old, old bricks and old walls, you know, to think that that's, that's there, the history, the, the feel of it. Uh, it's, buildings are one of the things that we have that we can go back in time with, uh, books or things, or pictures or stuff, but this sort of, this, something happened here at this time. It will cost $25,000 to save it. Benner is asking the public for donations to save the city's second oldest building. If I raise 10000 I can get a matching grant for ten or 15 The only thing they can get out of it is satisfaction of helping save an old building. They can come down here and they can still look at it. Say in a, a year from now, they want to come look at the second oldest building in Houston. They can still do that. Otherwise, it's not going to exist. Benner and his neighbors in the Foley building hope that this will be the start of a neighborhood, a neighborhood that remembers its past and keeps it alive. Let's talk some more now about what's going on there in Market Square with Morgan Hill. He is a member of the board of the Market Square Economic Development Corporation. So many cities in this country, if the second oldest building in the community was on the verge of perhaps just falling down or being torn down, people would be raising their arms and yelling and screaming. Uh, what's different about us here? Well, I, we, we may need a little time to think about some of those things. I, I, I think that there are some lessons we can learn from some other cities incremental steps and so that's what we're seeing now and I'm hoping that that we're right on the on the on the end of, of some some major steps down there good